We live in an amazing time in the history of the world for all kinds of reasons. One of them is that, at least in the United States, you can make a living doing just about anything you want. No one is really forced to do anything, and almost all work is meaningful to the people who want to do it. Entrepreneurs, by definition, are people who have a strong desire to work at something they're passionate about. Passion implies desire. So if you're going to take the risk to be in business, devote the time required to be successful, and make the many sacrifices that are inevitable, why would you want to do anything that you don't love to do? And yet, this is the condition many business owners find themselves in. Nick Nurse is the head coach of the NBA Toronto Raptors. In his first year as a head coach, the Raptors won the NBA championship. Now, this wasn't Nurse's first rodeo. He had already been in one NBA D-League championship as head coach. Arguably, he is pretty good at what he does. He stands at the head of his profession. Nurse said that last summer, after winning his second championship, you can't do a very good job if you don't love what you're doing. Implicit in his statement is that loving your work is a requirement to be good at it, although that's obviously not enough. So why is it that entrepreneurs often become frustrated and lose motivation in their work? Is it possible that what drove them to start their business is no longer the thing they get to do on a daily basis? As business owners, as the business grows, we find ourselves in endless meetings. In between meetings, we have to deal with employee issues. When we have a break from those, we have finances to worry about, vendors to deal with, business partners' demands to meet, and a myriad other frustrating, irritating, or demotivating demands on our time. When do we get to do what we're really gifted at, what we really love to do? Nick Nurse doesn't recruit players. He doesn't deal with their off-court issues. He doesn't go to meetings with vendors or involve himself in things that aren't his core love and focus, coaching. And that's why he's a champion, because he spends his time only on the things he's great at and loves to do. It's possible for the entrepreneur to do the same thing to build her business in the same way. But it does take discipline, and it takes teamwork. Here are some suggestions for making your entrepreneurial journey more effective and less frustrating. One, get really clear on what you love doing in your business, and understand, too, those things you don't love. Two, make a list of what you're actually doing, then estimate the time spent in each one of those activities. Three, set a goal to move your time to 80% doing what you love and 20% the other stuff you have to do. Four, figure out how to offload all the things you don't enjoy to someone else on your team. If you don't have those people, hire them or look for providers on any of the many online companies that provide fractional employees or services. Five, measure your progress quarter by quarter and celebrate forward momentum. Celebration is just so key to making great progress. If you stop and think about how far you've come, spending only part of your time doing what you're truly gifted at and in love with doing, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Now imagine how great it will be when you're spending almost all your time that way. Nick Nurse is not an aberration. He's actually commonplace among life's winners in his philosophy. The thing that stands between where we are and the champion's podium is the focus and the time to do what we love. What a great thing to work on heading into 2020.